Hello everyone, this is Harsimran Singh from Lockers. Today I'm going to show you how the intake forms work. So the first thing you have to click is you have to click on automation, click on intake forms. So I will give you like quick overview of different question types we have. So we have three pre-built like question blocks. So that is client information, related contact, lead information client information so you can use this question block so you can make changes to this and whenever you are using this question type in a form and if a user submits this form it's going to automatically create a client and if you send it to an existing client and you link it to a client or a matter it's going to update their information other one we have is related contact info so you can use this if you want to add relationships on a matter. So you have to send it to an existing matter. You can add a relationship here. So let's say you are trying to get the client's, client's child information. So you will say child. So whenever a client submits this form, it will add this information entered here as a contact and it's going to relate this contact on a matter. I will show you a few examples of this later on. The third one is a lead information. So if you want to embed, like a quickly you want to embed a form on your website to get a lead intake. So you can create a form like this. This is again non-editable. You can't use these forms on your workflows to map. And this will automatically create a lead if you click on customize, you can customize it how it want. You can add like which stage the lead would be created. You can select like who is the originating attorney, who is the responsible attorney. You can show the source. So you can show the select value. And if you are sending it to some lead generator, let's say you're sending it to, to a chat agency or something. So you can select their value here, like in source value and don't show the source. So if you are creating like a different form for them, it will automatically set the source to the value you set here. If you want to change the label of a source, you can add a label here. So you can say how you found about us. Same with by referred by. So you can pre-select a value or you can don't show it. And you can change the label as well. You can show estimation cost. If you're working with some third party agency and they know to estimate it, you can show this or you can remove it. You can show description address and you can customize how the form looks. And the moment this will be submitted is going to create a lead in lockage. You can add a title on a form here. Now I will show you some forms which I already have. So I will show you this one here. This has a good example. So it's an immigration checklist. So normally once you get like you will need information of a client. So this you see I have a question type as a client information. Second I have a related contact info. The one which I showed you. I have added a relationship as a spouse and info label is spouse. And then I have like what is the type of a case. So I have a question type as a drop down. We can have image, file upload, date, time, multiple choice or check boxes or a single and a paragraph text. So I'm asking few questions here. I have a date for a date of birth and I'm asking them about the documents. So they can upload the documents, documents would be stored on the form. So you can check the response. So this is very important. So the moment they are going to enter the spouse information, it will create a contact for a spouse and then it will relate this contact on the matter. So you don't have to manually create the spouse and don't have to manually relate on the matter. The system will do it for you. And you can check responses from here. You can view this form if you want to take a look at the form. So you can view like this. So the next form I'm going to show you is 
like how to add conditional logics. Like in lockers, you can add conditional logic. So if someone, so you can add yes and no, and based on yes and no, you can show different kind of questions to the user. So I will take example of this form here, SSA. So see what I'm doing in this form. I'm getting the first name and the last name, and then I'm asking, are you married? So you will select a question type as multiple choice. So once you select a question type as a multiple choice, you can click here and go to a page based on an answer. So how our conditional logic works is you will create multiple pages. You will click here, add, you will say new page and see I already have two different pages, page two, page three and page four. So totally I have like four pages here in total. And so see what I will do here. So I'm saying go to page based on answer. So if they answer yes, it will go to the page two. If they answer no, it will go to the page three. And on the page two, you can add the questions which are related if they are married. On the page three, you can add questions which are based on the answer no. So see, I go to page two. I have their spouse information. If they are married, we need the information about the spouse. Here you have to do it. Like, do you want to get there, go to the page three, or you want to go to the page four directly? So you can have a skipping logic as well here. So you can build your if and else statements, and then you can have like, like once that page is answered, which page you want to jump. So if I don't want to go to page three, I directly want to go to the page four, I can go, or I can submit answer right here page three. So if they answered no, it will go to page three, get the information about the father. And after this, I will go to the next page. So if we have to view this form. So we'll click here. So see here now, the user answers first name and last name. If they answer yes, now it should go to spouse information. If I do a back, if I do no now, it should go to father now, see here. So you can add the conditional logic like this. So now how you can see the responses. So you can click here automation and here you will see the responses. So if you click on responses, you will see all the responses for this form. You can download them, you can print them. Now I'll show you like how to send an intake form to a client or a matter. So click on H1B checklist, send, select client and matter. This is very important. And if you are sending to a same client and you want them to resubmit, allow the resubmission every time. Whenever they submitted, it always create like a new client. So check this one. And if you don't want them to do that, like it should only update the information. Like if they resubmit, it should again change every contract's information. Then don't select this. So do next. You can copy the code here and you can email them from here, right here. So this is one way to send an intake form. Second way is you click on a matter, open a matter, Click on send intake form, select the intake form and just send it to client. This is the easiest way. So here you don't have to worry about like how you can select it. Your users are, are less bound to do mistakes if they are going to send it directly from a matter. So you can copy a link to a form from here and or you can email it directly. So if we copy a link, I will show you how this will work. So see now I am opening the link which we copied and at the bottom you will see there would be a save progress button. So if you have linked a client to a form or a matter to a form, your clients will see a save progress button. So save progress button is very useful. You know, like if you have clients or you have forms who are like who are multiple pages, they are 30 pages, 50 pages. We have seen clients you know, like who create forms for one around like 150 pages. So this is very useful. In those cases, your clients can come back. They can start wherever they left. 
Now I will show you like how to embed an intake form on your website. So click on an intake form, click on a send, don't select this. So if you are adding just a simple contact us form and every time on the submission of that, you may want to create a lead or a matter or a contact in your system, don't select these two. Skip this part. Click on embed, copy this code and give it to your web developer or if you know the coding yourself, copy this code and put it in your website. Please note you don't select these two things. You can also link your intake forms, question types to the custom fields as well. So if you click on this, you can map a question to a custom field or to a matter name. So this is how you link a question type, like a custom question type to a custom field. Thank you very much.